Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel MI Tutorials. In this tutorial, we're going to learn about row level security. So what is row level security? Let's say for example, I have these categories over here. Let's say I as a user work only on two categories, uh, namely bakery and beverages. And when I log into Power BI or when I access the uh, Power BI dashboard, I should be able to only view my categories which I work on, which is bakery and beverages. However, if there's another team member of mine who works on food grains and fruit category, he needs to only view the food and fruits category. But my manager who is managing the entire team, he needs to have access to all of the categories. So let's get started with this tutorial. Firstly, let me show you the data set that I have over here. So this is my sales table. I have category over here and I am going to create the row level security based on the category. So here I have another table wherein I have the row level security information. What information do I have over here? I have my category, which is basically the column which we are using to create the row level security. I have the employee who is managing that particular category and then the manager name of that particular employee and the email of the employee who is using or who is accessing that particular dashboard. And there's another column over here to define if he is a manager or not. So there are these categories over here from snacks until bakery and if you look at this over here again I have snacks till bakery repeating with manager yes as an option which means that the manager over here will have access to all of these categories and then I have created another table over here which is nothing but basically the unique categories which are present in the RLS model table over here. So what we now need to do is let us quickly add a table over here with category information category and let's add the sales amount. So this is the information that I have on this particular table category and sum of sales amount. I also added another column chart over here and just to save some time I did not show that on this tutorial. So let's head to the modeling tab and start creating our RLS now. Let's go to the modeling tab and click on manage roles in these under the security tab and over here let's click on create. So let's give it a name to this particular RLS over here. I'm gonna call this as a category filter and then on the RLS model over here let's right click click on add filter and enter select the email column over here and let's replace this value over here with user principal name and open and close bracket. So basically what this does is it looks into the email column and the user principal name will return the email ID of the person who has logged into that particular dashboard. And once the user principal name returns the email ID, it goes and checks into the email column of this particular table over here and then it filters down the entire data set. So now let's click on save over here and let's head back to our model over here and let's create a relationship between these tables. You will have to create these relationships once we have defined the RLS in the manage roles tab that we just did. So now let's create the relationship between the unique categories table with our sales table over here. So one of the relationship is now created and on the RLS table over here let's join with the category here with the unique categories table and let's double click on this and cross filter direction let's change this to both and check this box over here which says apply security filter in both directions let's click on ok now let's head back to our report now and let's go to the modeling tab again click on view as and over here let's select other user and select the filter that you want to apply in this case category filter you might have many filters over here in, in my case over here I only have one filter so I'm just selecting the category filter over here and over here I'm gonna type in the name of the person who is going to log in. Let's say Amit is the user and then I'm going to type in the email ID and click on OK. So the moment I did that, I'm only seeing the categories here which Amit has access to, which is nothing but beverages and oil and masala. In case if I want to look at something else, let's select another user over here, uh, George. J E O R G E at M I tutorials dot com and enter. You will see that jo George has access to fruits and veggies and snack categories, and that is what is visible over here. Now, in case you are the manager and you want to look at all the 
categories over here let's go back to the manager view which is and let's change this particular email id here so if rajiv logs in to this particular dashboard he will have access to all the categories that you see over here so this is how you create the row level security and filter the data based on the person who has logged into that particular dashboard now in the next tutorial i will be teaching you how to create visual level security meaning let's say if rajiv who is the manager has logged into this particular dashboard he needs to see certain visuals because he that might not need access to let's say row level information of what is happening in that dashboard he only wants to see the aggregated information but let's say however if amit logs into that particular dashboard let's say bakery and beverages is, is his category he needs to see different visuals on this particular page so i'm going to teach you just that in the next tutorial so make sure you come back to my channel on monday and watch that particular tutorial meanwhile you can subscribe to my channel and also hit that bell notification icon to get a notification whenever i upload my new tutorial i have also started making tutorials on python and i'm creating a series of tutorial please check that video out as well which i posted last wednesday i'm going to post a new video on that very soon so please hit that subscribe button to stay notified so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you learned something new today thank you so much for watching